Vika Darachi, Reverend Sister Principal, Sister Jeevani Martinez, Reverend Sister Superior, Sister Rohini Mendes, invitees, teachers, parents, prefects, and my fellow students. Before everything, I would like to thank, first of all, Reverend Sister Chandrika Pereira, our former principal. She was the source of strength and a guiding light to me and to my fellow prefects of 2014. She was a silent force behind our success, and we are indeed grateful to her for all she has done. It was also her who initiated the ceremonious handing over of the badges to the leaders of the various associations, and if not for her, the office bearers of these associations would be mere students who are assigned. Hence, a mere word of thanks would not be sufficient to express our gratitude towards her. To our teachers for guiding us and for bearing with us every time we got busy with our duties. To our parents for all the support and the strength they have given to us. And at last but not least, to all the prefects of 2014 for their cooperation and their enthusiasm. We as the batch of prefects have been through our own ups and downs, but here we are. Not only have we survived through them, but also made the best out of them. Dear prefects of 2015, a year ago I stood at this very same place with lots of hopes and lots of ideas about what was coming up during the year ahead. Of course, I had so much in mind about what I was going to do, about what I was going to change, about what I was going to be. It was when I actually took up my duties that I realized that you can think up, imagine, and hope to do everything in mind. But the practicality is the biggest challenge. Of course, being appointed as the head prefect of St. Lawrence's convent was the best thing that ever happened to me. During the short period of one year, I was transformed into a more mature, a wiser, and a more confident person. And I believe that the same thing will happen to you as well. During my period of office, I was able to be part of some of the most important turning points of our school, including the opening of the brand new canteen building, the winning of the awards like the Productivity Award and the award for the Gold Award for the Mother Sri Lanka project, not forgetting the initiation of the building that was supposed to house the Hall of Our Dreams, which I'm looking forward to seeing complete in the near future and not as a shattered Laurentian dream. Anyway, prefectship is a very unique form of leadership. When you're a prefect, you have to talk the talk as well as walk the walk. And of course, you're in for a whole lot of scolding and a whole lot of criticism. But each and everything of that sort will only help you in that process of transformation which I mentioned earlier. The authority with a certain amount of power to be exercised within the school. My advice to you today is don't hesitate to exercise that power. As long as you know what you do is right and as long as you have the best interests of our school at heart, don't worry about who says what, just do it. You see, at the end of the day, the haters are going to hate, hate and hate anyway. You will also come across instances where you have to choose between staying in class and staying out of it for your duties. But you see, education is never complete if the majority of it would be the academic aspect. Trust me, there is no bigger sin than wasting your talents given to you by God just to keep your head stuck in a book. And it is my honest belief that books play the least important role when it comes to achieving. I've made a whole lot of them. Never again will I walk up and down those corridors shouting at the girls, asking them to be silent for prayers or making nasty faces at them. <laughs> Never again will I order a girl wearing a chain with a medallion to take it off. 
and never again will I walk into a class with an angry face and then rush out of it right away, laughing, just because looking at them would remind me of how my very own class had been a few years ago. <laughs> so, dear prefects of 2015, it's your turn now. Take that badge of yours and have a blast. Have fun and most of all, make memories. As long as you have the best interests of our alma mater at heart, that is all that matters. I conclude by sharing with you a quote made by Mother Teresa, which has inspired me throughout the years, and it goes like this. People are often unreasonable, irrational, and self-centered. Forgive them anyway. If you are kind, people may accuse you of ulterior motives. Be kind anyway. If you are honest, people may cheat you. Be honest anyway. If you find happiness, people may be jealous. Be happy anyway. The good you do today may be forgotten tomorrow. Do good anyway. Give the world the best you have, and it may never be you enough. And God. It was never between you and them anyway. My work here is done. Thank you, everybody. May God bless you all, and God bless our school.